Yo 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 Good morning, Angela Yee. Good morning, TJ Amy. Charlemagne the God. Peace to the planet. It's Thursday. We made it. Yes. You made it to what? To um tomorrow's throwaway day. No, it's not. Shut up. Oh man. Nobody believes that but you. No. Everybody thinks it. Hashtag throwaway day. I get it every single week from people. All right, you go on your job and let it be a throwaway day. That'll be the ass your that'll be the day your job your boss throw your ass up. Fire. Listen, you, last mm-hmm. week all of y'all was throwing it away. No, we weren't. Yes, you was. I don't <laughs> never mail it in. Mm-mm. Nope. Well, if you live on the East Coast, the weather is disgusting. Even in the South, weather's nasty. Man, a lot of people lost power in the yeah. South, actually. One of my friends was in the car talking on the phone. Usually it takes me about 30 minutes to get to work today. It took me about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. The weather's disgusting. The roads are not plowed on the East Coast, well, out in New York, New Jersey area. And I heard the South is pretty bad as well. Yeah, my mom and uh, pops is in South Carolina. They didn't have no power yesterday. Yeah, they said Atlanta, Charlotte, everything's pretty bad. 772,000 people without wow. power. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's, and that's in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, which is close to Charleston. So, And if you're traveling, make sure you check on your flight. There's a good chance it's canceled. 4,400 flights canceled. All you hoes flying down to New Orleans better check your flights, all right? They said the weather's nice down there, 70 degrees, though. Yeah, but it ain't, might not be nice for you after you to get out. Yeah. Okay? So your dreams of trapping an NBA player may not happen this <laughs> it's weekend. It's done. It's a wrap. But okay. if you do make it out there, there's going to be a lot less women to choose from. That's true, too. So you might as well drive. If you got a car, just drive Odds down Odds are way better. Yeah. <laughs> just drive yeah, yeah, be a dedicated hoe. Just drive. Drive down to New Orleans. <laughs> and for all you guys that are trying to get the leftovers by pretending to be a ball player, this is a great opportunity. That's right. All you tall guys who didn't make it to the mm-hmm. league who go down there and pretend to play uh, for the Knicks and be the 10th man. Yes. All right. All right. Well, we got front page news coming up. What are we talking about, Yee? We are going to talk about, of course, the weather. I'll give you updates for whatever area that you're in. Also, a huge acquisition for Comcast. Find out what company they just bought in a $45 billion deal. And we, we got to talk about New York Yankee superstar Derek Jeter. Mm. All right. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Front page news next. That's right. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee. Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Let's start off with sports. And we got to salute Derek Jeter. He announced that this will be his last year in Major League Baseball. You think it's time for him to retire? Absolutely. Uh, 20 seasons? Yeah, I would think so. His body wants him to retire. He's beat up. He's uh, been injured a couple of times. It's time for him to retire. And he's got money. Yeah. He'll remain a Yankee. He'll remain on the staff. Probably hitting coach or one of those funny things. But uh, congratulations and salute to Derek Jeter. I always respect Derek Jeter simply because when he bangs out chicks, he lets them go home in a car service with a gift bag. That's commendable. Applaud him for that. Yes, he does. Give okay. everyone a gift back. That's a nice guy. You'll never hear a whole blow up his part. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Ever. All right, also in basketball, Heat beat the Warriors 111-110. Kings beat the Knicks 106-101. Now, the Kings are the worst team in the league, right? No, right. that would be the New York Knicks. Uh. The New York Knicks stay cat. <laughs> the New York Knicks stay catfishing their fans. Okay. Oh my goodness. They look good on paper, but no. All right. Nets beat the Bobcats 105-89. Rockets beat the Wizards 113 to 112, and the Pelicans beat the Bucks 102-98. Now, ten dead, seven hundred thousand without electricity. What's going on? Yeah, the weather is pretty bad. Seven hundred seventy-two thousand people do not have any power across fourteen states. And a lot of those people are in Georgia, North, and South Carolina. Mm-hmm. More than 4,400 4, flights have been canceled today. Yesterday, 3,400 flights were canceled. Amtrak has suspended service in the Northeast, South, and Mid-Atlantic regions today again. So just be careful if you're out there. They're saying, yes, about 10 people have been uh, have been killed due to the storm. We're going to get about 15 inches of snow in New York, 11 in Philly. Uh, it's just a lot of snow. Happening. How many inches so, in New York? 15. Yikes, today? Yes. Oh, man. They said 18 in, in parts of Jersey. Starting to feel sick. I might have to call in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to tomorrow. feel a little under the weather. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow, it, Listen, we came hey, to work during Hurricane no. Sandy with no power. Hey, tomorrow. Every single time something happens, we do not miss work. So this, you better bring your little. Hey, this might be the one time I close out on Angela If tomorrow's a throwaway day, let it be a damn throwaway <laughs> Let's day. Let's be the day. real throwaway day. Let it be bring your little thick day. chocolate button to work tomorrow. Oh, really? you want to come for throwaway day? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And also Comcast. It seems like they got some brand shorty, huh? Yes, Comcast has announced that they're going to acquire Time Warner Cable. It's a $45 billion deal. Those are the two biggest cable companies in the United States, so they are going to combine. They are going to probably get government approval pretty soon, and by the end of the year, all of this will take effect. Now, 
it, it used to be that you couldn't control more than 30% of the market because they had regulations, but they actually challenged that rule in the mid-2000s. So now there's no longer a 30% market cap, so they are going to be the largest company. Right. Roughly one in three American homes will have the Time Warner cable combination, Comcast cable combination. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, E. That's front page news. Now tell them why you're mad. If you're upset, make prices go up. And you need to vent. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Maybe somebody pissed you off. You're having a bad morning, or you're hating the weather. You're hating the snow. Whatever it may be. If you're maybe upset, your flight got canceled and you was on your way to All Star to party. Yeah. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Tell them why you're mad. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. DMX. You know what makes me mad? <laughs> For the truth, but can't handle the truth. Right? Now tell them why you mad on the Breakfast Club, bitches. Miss Stevie, tell them why you mad. I'm mad this morning because I had to find out on Facebook that my daughter's father, that I have a little girl with that's a year and a half, has another baby with his old baby mother. What? That he currently has two kids with, messy. and now he has a third one. Damn. And I have to find out on Facebook. That's why you can't be getting your side chicks pregnant because of social media, man. What happened on Facebook? She posted it or he posted it? She posted it. She posted some pictures. I went on his Facebook and I seen what made me go was because I seen him and some family albums and I seen him and her together. And you know me being the detective that I am, I go searching and scrolling and found out his daughter had a page and went on the daughter's page and then I found his mother's page and went on her page and vowed. All right, all so what you gonna kids. do now? What you gonna do now, Miss Detective? You got your information now what you gonna do what else can i do it's just information that i it's sad that i have to deal with this for my daughter exactly not the whole time. no no it. you know what that's what i want to prove here i want to prove the point that when you girls snoop if you're not ready to leave it's pointless to snoop i you always got, say that if you're gonna find something now you got to make sure when you find out you're prepared to leave if necessary exactly you ain't leaving so what was the point hello who's this yo this is big dre what's going on dre tell him why you mad yo i'm mad because you know i'm a big new york Knicks fan and I hate to say it, but I think it's time for Mike Woodson to pack his bags and go ahead and go ahead and get out of New York. Hey, don't he do lost it. the locker room, yo. Yeah, he definitely hey, lost not, the locker room. Not just Mike Woodson. I pray that Carmelo Anthony leaves. He oh, does, don't say that. He why, deserves man? better. Man, I'm trying to figure out why, man. You hard, you Lala's homeboy. Yeah. No, you you should want good for Carmelo. Carmelo can't go nowhere and get the love that he's getting, bro. Oh, hold on, time out. So do I want love or a championship? Yo, he's going to get a championship in New York. You just need one or two more people. Man, you on drugs. I want the best for Carmelo, and the New York Knicks are not the best organization for Carmelo right now. I agree. I, I think a couple more pieces, he could get that no, championship. No, Melo having the best season of his career, and he playing for a garbage team. Stop it. Hello, who's this? You were mad when LeBron left Cleveland. What up, though? What up, though? Tell him why you mad, bro. What up, though? I am highly upset, man. For me, Abu Jamal still locked up, and I'm praying about these judges that is locking brothers up, and I'm highly pissed about that. Now. Hold on, hold on. Did you said, did you compare a political prisoner to just uh, the average brothers that are getting locked up? No, no, no. All, all is combined. A combined. Listen, it's a difference between political prisoners and uh, Jamal who got caught with a pistol because he just shot at somebody, okay? Although I did read about uh, three men who were locked up for 22 years for a crime they didn't commit that just got released. I am highly pissed about See that. See how you need girls do You're not going to use that one isolated example of the, <laughs> of the countless crimes that we commit Actually, every day. Actually, it does happen a lot. No, it doesn't. It's not, not one isolated yes, example. Yes, it is. Listen, these Negro, Negroes is out here committing crimes, Angelique. Stop making excuses. Well, Encourage people to do better. Tell them why you're mad. If you're upset, you need to vent 800-585-1051. If you're upset, you need to vent. Call us up right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. This is DMX. And you know what makes me mad? <laughs> For the truth, but can't handle the truth. All right? Now tell them why you mad on the Breakfast Club, bitches. Hello, who's this? This is Jamal from Milwaukee, man. Jamal, tell them why you mad, bro. They doing random drug tests in my job today. You know how hard it is to find clean <laughs> at five in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. My pee is clean. You want it? And if I can get there, man. I need hey, like two minutes. Who um who tipped you off that they was doing random drug tests? Oh, they told me. They they said we got to report to the lab and. About 8 o'clock. Good luck, bro. <laughs> yeah. Tell me why you mad, bro. I'm not mad. I just needed a way to uh, call through and ask Angela to be my valentine. I need to even jump on everybody. Okay. What's your name? Jerry. All right, Jerry. You're my valentine. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, man. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Lady D from yeah. Charleston. Tell me why you mad, mama. Man, I'm mad because, okay, my old man, he got a job that he cannot smoke weed. I, I apologize, but I can, and he's mad at me that I can continue doing what I do, but he got to stop. 
Well, first of all, shout out to the 843. You know what I'm saying? All my Geechee folk out there. Go ahead and smoke that weed and blow it in his face. Word is, boy. It ain't, it ain't his fault that you got a job where you where you can smoke weed and he can't go on and blow down when you want to, man. That's what I'm trying to tell him, man. What he mad. Thank let, you. Let him catch a contact high. All right. Bye. Too bad, boo. Hello, who's this? <laughs> Yo, this Ali calling from New York. Tell him why you mad, bro. I'm mad because I'm on my way to Philly and I'm stuck in the snow, man. It's such so crazy out here. You said you got social security out here. No, he said he's just, he said his stuff is crazy no, out here. Oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, it's like 11 right, inches right. in Philly. Hello, who's this? It's Edgar from Wisconsin. Tell him why you mad, bro. I'm mad at you, Envy. You be, you, there was these mixes that you be playing on Friday that I hear this new DJ mix of, of Beyonce and everything, and you don't tell who that, what that is. Who did it and everything? Oh, that's the twerk, the Beyonce uh, Drunk and Love twerk mix. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. You be twerking See, to it? Oh, yeah, this is great. Let, right. me hear, let me hear you clap it right now. I'm driving right now. Hey, you a big grown-ass man twerking, dog? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Yes. Oh. Oh. Unless, unless you tell me you're gay, then I don't have a problem. I am gay, thank you oh, very much. Okay, well, twerk on, my sister. All right, call back later and let me hear you make it twerk clap. Twerk on, sis. Twerk on. Twirl. Oh, yeah, have you guys have a good night. Twirl good night. and twerk. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I got you later on, bro. Yeah. I'm in the song. Tell them why you're mad. 800-585-1051. Yee. Yes. We got rumors coming up. Oh, man. What NBA star has two women allegedly pregnant at the same damn time? Damn. All right. We'll get into that next. Keep I sent somebody going broke in the future. Rumors up next is The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Thanks, show me. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, let's get into the rumors. Let's talk about pregnancies. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Gossip. The Rumor Report. Gossip. Angela, Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. NBA star Paul George. Now, we already told you about... Mm -mm -mm. The baby that he has with a Miami stripper named Daniela, and he allegedly offered her a million dollars to abort the baby. Well, it turns out that Callie Rivers, who is the daughter of Clippers head coach Doc Rivers, might also be pregnant as well. Damn. By who, Paul George? Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ, Paul George. Play some defense with your penis and put a condom on. Now, some people are saying that Callie Rivers may have still been messing around with UNC baller Dexter Strickland. So who knows 100% for sure. Hey, college NBA, if I got to choose who my baby daddy is, I'm going with the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the money at. Ain't no money in college. Well, let's hope one of them doesn't knock you up, Charlemagne, because we know what you're about. All right, now, that supposedly, paper. and by the, yeah, speaking of paper, Envy had this scoop for a month now and didn't tell us, but little Kim is pregnant, and she's pregnant by her longtime boyfriend, Mr. Papers, who's I, also a rapper. I heard that about a month ago, but I forgot. I, t I absolutely pos positively totally forgot. Well, congratulations to you for minding your damn business, Envy. Yeah, well, applaud Envy for that. Yeah, I just forgot. Finally, a media person that no, minds no, no, their no. damn he business. No, 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 he didn't mind his business. He forgot. There's uh, a big difference. No, I forgot. <laughs> I'd have told you guys. Right, so she was actually at a New York Fashion Week show, and she was sitting in the front row, and that's how everybody now knows that she's pregnant because she has a big old baby. But I'm so congratulations, yes, congratulations to little Kim and little Mr. Kim. Papers. Yeah, wish her a healthy pregnancy and all that good stuff. Absolutely. All right, Tyrese and his baby mama just got into a bit of a fight. Norma Gibson is her name now. Tyrese went to go pick up their six-year-old daughter, but allegedly Norma did not want to hand the daughter over because she was sick. Before he got there, Norma went ahead and called the police. Because she felt the custody order did not require that she turn her child over and she needed cops to look at the document. So that's when the LAPD officers arrived and Tyrese showed up at the same time. The cops did talk to Tyrese and he and he had to leave really? without his, his daughter. Why would you do that? Tyrese should have called Optimus Prime. They wouldn't have ran Tyrese off if he had Optimus Prime. <laughs> they hey. said there was no disturbance of the peace. No police report was taken. They said the case is closed. But Tyrese is very upset now. They're saying that he's going to go to court and ask a judge to hold her in contempt and throw her in jail for violating the custody order. He thinks that the child was not sick, that it's all just revenge. And he promised the judge a follow on Twitter if the judge complies. Hey, listen, why is that lady's last name Gibson, though? That's his ex-wife or something? I don't know. Her name is Norma Gibson. Because Ty oh, Tyrese's last name is Gibson. I don't know. And maybe she kept the name. Oh, no, I think they did get married. They were married? I think so. Okay. Mm. All right. And uh, last but not least, Dwayne Wade's ex, Siobhan, is, Siobhan Wade, is actually making some shocking claims. There's some court documents that have been released. Now, they're saying that Dwayne Wade uh, revealed a different side to her after they got married back in 2002. She said he had a bad temper. He would become violent at times. And she said the violence increased once they moved into the apartment with their infant son. She also... That's because Dwayne didn't want to be there. <laughs> she said domestic 
domestic violence and abuse continued for several years in the family. She said in one instance, he picked up a garbage can made of marble stone and threw it at her. Yeah, she also said can. that she discovered Dwayne Wade was cheating on her and she got tested for STDs and found out that he had indeed given her one. Is it domestic violence if you don't actually hit the person? She said that he threw the trash can at it. You got to hit, hit the person. Is that domestic violence? Mm-hmm. That's not technically domestic violence. I mean, it's violence. A abusive behavior. Yeah, abusive So I don't know what you would actually call that. But now somehow all these documents are coming out. So yeah, that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. And the STD was curable, so what's the issue? Oh, stop it. Thank you, Yee. You now, don't want your husband to give you an STD, all right, Charlamagne? I sure don't want my husband to give you me an STD. I don't care if he's an NBA player or not, Charlamagne. No, I don't no, think you should put yourself goodness. in that situation. Oh, all that God. position. <laughs> These guys are crazy. When we come back, we got front page news. We'll tell you about your weather in your local uh, area. So keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. Come on in. Yes! What are you everybody? so happy for? What you so happy for? I'm happy. I'm just happy to be alive. We're happy you're alive, too. Shut up. Morning, everybody. It's what? DJ Why would you tell me to shut up? Because I'm happy you're alive. Because there's going to be a stab after that. No, Go ahead. No stab one's... me. Go ahead. Stab me. We're just what happy that you're you? alive. You are losing your mind. Are you bipolar? You go from being happy to asking people to stab you? <laughs> what is your problem, beige boy? Why would you want me to stab Jesus you? Jesus Christ. All right, let's get into front page news. All right, now, um, salute to Derek Jeter. He announced yesterday that he is retiring after this year. Right. 22 years as a New York Yankee. Congratulations to him. And he'll probably stay, I guess, uh, being hitting coach or shortstop coach. But uh, congratulations and salute to Derek Jeter. Now he can really settle down with a woman. Right. Now, in basketball, Heat beat the Warriors 111-110. Kings beat the Knicks 106-101. Isn't the Kings the worst team in the NBA? Well, that would be the New York Knicks. The New York Knicks are the worst team in the NBA. The New York Knicks uh, stay catfishing their fans. Mm. Carmelo deserves better. Go, go, Melo. No, we'll be all right. Go, Melo. Nets beat the Bobcats 105-89. Rockets beat the Wizards 113-112. And the Pelicans beat the Bucks 102-98. Now, let's talk about all these power outages because of the weather and everything. Yeah, they're saying that more than 772,000 customers are without power. The vast majority of those people are in Georgia, North, and South Carolina. Also, 4,400 flights are canceled for today, so check on that. Yesterday, there were 3,400 flights canceled. So, obviously, it's going to be really hard to get anywhere. Even Amtrak has suspended some service in the northeast, south, and mid-Atlantic regions. Mm -hmm. Just be careful out there. New York City, up to 15 inches of snow today. Philly, up to 11 inches of snow. D.C., it's just really bad everywhere. So, the nation's capital, everything shut down. Mm -mm -mm. Up to 10 inches of snow there in D.C. It's pretty nasty out there. It took me, usually it takes me about 30 minutes to get to work. Today, it took me about an hour and a half. And at least 10 people have uh, died due to the weather. Mm. So be careful. If right. you don't have to go out, please stay home. Now, also, Comcast, they got that bridge, shorty, right? Yes, Comcast is going to be acquiring Time Warner Cable. It's a $45 billion deal. Those two companies will be combined, the largest cable company in the United States. So they're going to have about one in every three households will have this uh, company for their cable service. That's good for us because Revolt's on our time on so that's great. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Now also, um, well, that's front page news. We were talking yesterday, right before we closed the show out yesterday. We played a snippet of a K. Michelle song. We have that mm-hmm. snippet? Let's play it. I don't believe in love Cause I can't feel no pain Been with so many dudes It just don't feel the same I don't believe in you Your album tells me true I believe strippers could get health insurance too Don't believe Alright, stop it Knock it off, K. Michelle Now, as funny as that sounds That's a great question Do strippers deserve health insurance? Should strippers get health insurance? Man, come on, man I don't see 800-585-1051 That's the question Hold on, let's be clear on this, though If you strip full-time And you have a salary In addition, you get tips Then yes, you should get health insurance Every American deserves health insurance I agree But you do not deserve to get health insurance Because you're a stripper If you're a stripper You do not deserve to get health insurance Through that career option No, if you're a stripper And you pay your taxes you should get health insurance. If but you, if you don't pay if your you taxes... you have a salary and you work full-time... No stripper has a salary. No you don't pay him a salary. salary. I don't... Listen, I don't know how it works. I never strip, but... It's, I would assume strippers it's just get, like being, say, a, a waitress where you get a salary plus tips. It might not be a large salary, but listen, you get that. You get paid per hour plus tips. Strippers collect singles and they do tip out. In some cases, I think they do get 10 Did you just strip, sir? What? You used to strip. Like, how, do you know, how do you know how it works? Because people just on the cloud. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. Anyway, strippers get singles and they get tip out. And in some cases, they do get 1099s from their job. But I still don't think that they should uh, get health insurance simply because stripping is not a respectable profession. It's not empowering. It's not a career. 
You know, nobody's encouraging their daughters to be strippers. Nobody would have strippers at career days <laughs> encouraging young girls to be strippers. Well, no, there's a lot of careers that people have that aren't empowered. Ain't no stripper booth at no job fair. And imagine? a stripper and a stripper might argue with you that their job is empowered. No, job fair. No temp services. Pole. Listen, no temp services sending chicks to strip clubs for work. <laughs> Knock it off. Come on, man. There's a lot of professions and, that and, people and, don't and, get sent to from job fairs, okay? And, and some women will say as strippers that their job is empowering. Listen, let's some men play. like to go to the hold on. People go to clubs to break songs in the strip club. You can actually use going to the strip club as a tax write off. So you why shouldn't drugs? they get why shouldn't they get you that drugs? Listen, health you insurance. Strip, that's your business. I go to strip strip clubs, I have no problems with strippers, but let's be clear, it's not a career. Eight hundred five eight five one oh five one. Should strippers like get therapists. health insurance? What are you talking about? She's on drugs. <laughs> Call us up right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Did she just compare a stripper to a therapist? Morning, everybody. It's DJ and the Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, I think earlier this week was the 10th anniversary of uh, College Dropout, the album. Yes, it was. So, shout to uh, Kanye West. Yeah, so the cake that Kim Kardashian got him, they were celebrating. That's pretty dope. That's when he was Kanye West. Now he is Kanye Kardashian. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, we're talking about strippers and health insurance. Now, this question all came about from the queen of Ratchet and Blues herself, Miss K. Michelle. All right, it was a freestyle. Let's listen to it. Oh, a song. It was a song, right? Yeah, let's listen to it. I don't believe in you, your album sales ain't true I believe strippers should get health insurance too Now, the question is, should strippers get health insurance? No, because stripping shouldn't be looked at as a real job. If it's not a real job, you shouldn't get real health benefits. It's not a profession, and I just think it sends the wrong message and encourages the chicks who are stripping to never move on and do anything else. There's I, a lot of jobs that people have that aren't real, quote-unquote, professions. No, I agree, though. They shouldn't get health insurance if they don't pay taxes. If you don't pay your taxes, you're stripping, you're making a lot of cash. No, you shouldn't get health insurance. I mean, I think what it really comes down to is if you are... Yes, if you're getting taxed at work, then you should get insurance. And, listen, and if you work full time, scripting is not empowering. Nobody's encouraging their daughters. Nobody's saying any of that. I'm not nobody, judging what you no, do. I'm nobody just is saying. encouraging their daughters to be scrippers. There ain't no scrippers at no career days encouraging young girls to be scrippers. Ain't nope. no stripper booths at no job fairs. Mm -mm. Ain't nope. no temp service sending chicks to strip clubs for part time work. Nope. No. No. Okay. Well, let's no, open up the no, phone no. lines. 800 585 1051. Should strippers get health insurance? Hello, who's this? This is Ray out of Norfolk. Ray out of Norfolk, VA 757. What's going on, Ray? You were saying if they pay their taxes, they should get it. That's how I feel. What do you think? Envy, what you said about taxes makes sense, but Charlemagne, what you said about it being moral, or that doesn't matter because there's lots of jobs that people do out here that some would consider immoral in the business world. Right. That do trifling and conniving things. Give me an example. <laughs> Give me an example. People on Wall Street. Look how they robbed America. Well, if you're talking about moral reasons, you're but they shouldn't get it because they should. Yeah, but he, but he said, he said, he said it wasn't. No, I'm agreeing with you. Question. You got a daughter, sir? I do. Would you want your daughter to be a scribble? No, I wouldn't want her to be a scribble. All right, then. She don't deserve help insurance. Right. Bye. Oh, my goodness. That's all it boiled down to. John from Brooklyn. Good morning, man. I mean, as people, they should get help insurance. But not being a stripper, man. I'm a union man. That's all I'm saying. They need to sign up for Obamacare. Huh? <laughs> Obamacare. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my goodness. Hello? Hey, are you a stripper? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, what's your name? My name is Al from Jacksonville, Florida. Al from Florida. Now, we're talking strippers. Should they get health insurance? I think if, if I was a stripper, I would want to have health insurance for myself. But if I was a strip club owner, I definitely would buy insurance for my strippers. They need it. Right. You want to make sure they <laughs> like break well, the leg on the work, pole. No problems. Yeah, I don't want no issues, especially on a big night. You, somebody break their leg, they might get sick. I need them to come in. I, I, need to I don't know if they money. can dance if they broke their leg. I just think that sends the wrong message. By offering health insurance to strippers, you're saying it's a career. You're saying it's an honorable profession. It's kind of like you're encouraging women to go do it because you get the same benefits that you do at a regular but job. But McDonald's is not a career and you get health insurance. But it's a more honorable job than a stripper. Envy, would you rather your daughter work at McDonald's or be a stripper? Definitely McDonald's. Okay, then. What are we arguing about here? I'm not here to morally judge anyone. I'm just saying if you pay your taxes, if you have a full-time salary, no matter what your job is, yes, you deserve health Listen, insurance. I'm not judging either. I'm just telling y'all yes, what you it are. is. Yes, you are. I'm just telling y'all what it is. You're saying because you don't want your daughter to be a stripper, you don't think that So why you don't go strip me? Why yeah. you don't script? Because I have this job. There's a lot of jobs I don't do because okay, I work Okay, so there. if you got fired from here today and the only thing that was on the table for you to do was script, would you script? Yes. Can you shut your ass up? Perfection's oh, desired. 800 <laughs> Do you believe strippers should get health insurance? Call us right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.
G, my Bieber, my Bieber. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MB, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We're talking about should strippers get health insurance? Absolutely not. And you know one thing that I, that people fail to realize? If you know a stripper, right, and she comes to you complaining about, man, I can't go to the doctor, you know, health insurance, I don't got no health insurance, yada, yada, yada. What's the first thing you're going to say to her? Um, get a real job then. Oh, I know people who have real jobs that don't have insurance. All the more reason why the stripper shouldn't. 800 Should strippers get health insurance? Is Jay-Z, Justin Timberlake, it's Holy Grail. That was Holy Grail, Jay-Z, Justin Timberlake, it's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, yesterday we played a snippet of this song. It was Kate Michelle. Let's take a listen. Don't believe in you. Your album sounds like true. I believe strippers should get health insurance, too. And we were talking, should strippers get health insurance? That's the question. 800-585-1051. Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Nathan out of Houston. What's good? Nathan out of Houston. We're talking strippers. Should they get health insurance, bro? Well, actually, uh, yeah. In my profession, let's just say it's for the state. Uh, they actually have to have permits to strip STD tests, and they're eligible for health insurance. Right. That's all like escorts. Yeah, they they get they get all of that because they got to get ID and all of that. Oh, that's a stripper. That's not no. That's escort. You talking about escort? You talking about girls that? No, 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 no. No strippers too, bro. Google it. Well, not that. Well, I guess that's just in Houston. Thank you, bro. No. Ray from Miami. We're talking strippers. Should strippers get health insurance, bro? Yeah, it should get health insurance. Man, if the strippers don't have health insurance and they don't stay healthy, how are you going to go to work? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> this is why nobody take Black History Month serious right here, man. It's no. not only black strippers. I mean, Now, this is why they don't take Black History Month serious. Yvonne, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Are you a stripper? No. All right. <laughs> should strippers get health insurance? I think they should. I know it's not a career, but it's a job. Any job you work, you should get health insurance. I used to work at strip club, uh, what they call a house mom. Some of them girls got smells coming from places that only medication can say. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. You got a daughter or a niece or a sister? I have a niece. Would you encourage her to script? No, but if it's something that they have to do, I would support them. It's, it's, it's something that's a legal that is, profession. No, it's, it's legal. It's not something we have to do. It's never a reason to have to script. You don't have to do anything. That's lazy. You don't have to do anything. No, man. No. Hello, who's this? Uh, Rachel. Rachel, good morning. Good morning. Should strippers get health insurance, Rachel? No. I say no because they're self-employed, and I'm self-employed. I'm a barber. My husband is self-employed, and we have to buy insurance ourselves, try to find someone to provide us health insurance, or we get a fine. I agree. I, I absolutely positively agree. Okay, but if no you're a stripper and you work someplace and you pay taxes, then yes. I, I, I don't no, think that's strippers what she said. I didn't even think about that. Strippers are self-employed. Yes. So they got to find their own damn help. I, mean, I, I, I don't know how it works. I didn't even think but about that. But if you're paying, right. if you're paying taxes and you have a full-time salary, no matter what you do, then I think you should get health insurance. Moral of the story is, like I said, man, I just think it sends the wrong message. By offering strippers health insurance, it makes it seem like it's a career, something that women should aspire to do, and you shouldn't get the same benefits as a regular job. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not here to morally judge anybody. For well, listen, what they do when for they a start, when strippers start coming to career days and encouraging young girls to be strippers and they start having stripper booths at job fairs and temp service starts sending you the strip club to make some extra money i'll be all for it but until then bye felicia felicia who's that uh, this girl i know that script oh damn it man <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah we got rumors coming up yes and drake recently did an interview with rolling stone where he kind of goes at macklemore for sending that apology message to kendrick lamar He's a little bit mad about it. And I'll tell you what he had to say. Also, of course, once again, one of your favorite female rappers is pregnant. And we'll give you an update on who the baby daddy is. Okay. We'll get into that next. Keep a lock. Rumors on the way. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. That's right. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get into the rumors. Drake, well, he has some things to say about Macklemore. Listen up. It's just the All the guys. The Rumor Report with Angela Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. So Drake actually did an interview in Rolling Stone, and he talks about Macklemore sending that text message to Kendrick Lamar, where he tells Kendrick, you got robbed. I wanted you to win. You should have. It's weird and sucks that I robbed you. I was going to say that during the speech, and the music started playing during my speech, and I froze. That was Macklemore telling Kendrick he should have won the Grammy and not himself. Mm. Well, Drake said, I was like, you won. Why are you posting your text message? He said he thought that ish was whack as F. He said, take your win, and if you feel you didn't deserve it, go get better. Make better music. It felt cheap. It didn't feel genuine. Why do that? Why feel guilt? You think those guys would pay homage to you if they won? 
Then I think the real reason Drake was mad, he went ahead and said to name just Kendrick. That ish made me feel funny. No, in that case, you robbed everybody. We all need text messages. Well, I, I think Drake's uh, still in his feelings over the control verse and the BET cipher verse that Kendrick spit at him. But I will say he's uh, 80% accurate of what he said in that um, statement. Well, I think Macklemore thinks that Kendrick should have won, not everybody else over him. Right. Yeah. And so I, that's why he didn't send everyone a text message. Absolutely. But, but and I do agree with 80% of what Drake said because I do feel like Macklemore was genuine. But what Macklemore is going to have to learn is you can't please everybody, though. Mm -mm. Period. Yeah, just, just take your win. It and take it. That's it. Absolutely. All right. The Yeezus tour is in big trouble. That's Kanye's tour because of low ticket sales and low demand. Now they are slashing the price of tickets. Yeah. He actually has a concert scheduled February 22nd in Atlantic City, and they can now, you can get tickets for $35 instead of $69 on the website for where the tour is going to be hitting. All you have to do is use the code word BOUND. And they're going to let you get those tickets for pretty much half price. Now, they said, we told you previously, Kanye West had a show in Kansas City, and he only sold 4,500 tickets out of the 19,000 available seats. So, I don't, I'm not interested in seeing the show. The only Kardashian I, I went. Only Kardashian I care about right now is uh, Bruce Jenner. I can't wait till he do oh, a one-woman show. When he do a one-woman show, I'm there. I went it's very theatrical, but I think maybe people didn't like the Yeezus album as much, so that you might think? have things to do with it. Remy Ma is coming home. There whatever. You go. Now we're Whatever. Talking. They said she'll be home, according to Papoose, in July. Now, he also said they locked my bitch up for six years, but guess what? July, she coming home. He said I, that during a show. I hope Remy still got it. Because Remy, to me... Is the dope with female MC. She's dope. I actually, she was one of my first guests when I had a different radio show, a nighttime show, and she stayed for two full hours. She brought a dog with her. Her dog peed all over the place in the studio. Remy was crazy. Remy man. Is I miss busy. Remy. I Absolutely. miss Remy too. All and right. again, congratulations to little Kim, who is pregnant by her longtime boyfriend, Mr. Papers. She showed up at the Blondes New York Fashion Week show in New York City, and you can see her baby bump. So, congratulations, congratulations to that happy to couple. We wish her a healthy pregnancy. Absolutely. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now, Charlemagne. Yes. Up next, Donkey today. Absolutely. And this story is the absolute reason why if you have a significant other and you, both of y'all have social media accounts, block her. Okay. Block Don't give her no damn access. All right. We'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Charlemagne the devil? <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yeah, it's donkey today for Thursday, February 13th, Valentine's Day Eve. Goes to 24-year-old Rachel Edwardson. Now, Rachel is in jail right now. Would you like to know why? Why? Because her boyfriend, Dean Jacobs, is dead. The reason he's dead is because Rachel killed her. Rachel stabbed him to death while he was asleep. My close friends of the couple said there was no violence between the two, just regular arguments that most couples experience. But Rachel flipped on Dean and stabbed him to death in his sleep. Who wants to know why? Who wants to know why? Why? You want to know why? Why? Because Dean allegedly tweeted his woman crush Wednesday on Twitter. WCW. Yes. Well, Deron is his name. Deron's best friend uh, made a public statement. And the statement, it goes, and I quote, I was texting my boy Deron when he sent me the I message of the girl he was going to tweet out his woman crush. It was a chick he DM'd frequently and got nudes from, but she didn't even live in our state. I can't understand why his girl would kill him over posting a photo on Twitter, end quote. Rachel killed him over a crush, a woman he's never met or doesn't know, a crush. Imagine what she would have done if he would have liked to pick her, actually took an Instagram picture with somebody. Now, when police arrived on the scene, Jacobs was already dead in their bed and laying in a pool of blood with his iPhone still in his hand. Old Rachel was found by the police in the bathtub, face down with her hands behind her back, waiting for police to arrest her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is yet another reason for me not to go to Chicago, because them little chief keeps out their brains operate different than the rest of us. Now, friends of Rachel said she had self-esteem issues because she is dark-skinned. Say it, Envy. I'm not saying. Emmy was saying, he's not trying to get killed. <laughs> <laughs> because she is dark skinned and slightly overweight, and that her boyfriend, Dean Jacobs, had a post on his Twitter bio and Facebook status which read, I love a badass red bone. Well, well if you like a badass red bone, you should have been with one. What you doing getting murdered by Precious? Look, <laughs> the moral of the story is if you are in a relationship and both of y'all are on social media, you must block 
your significant other. I have a dummy page set up for your girl and an alter ego page for when you want to do your dirt. If not, you too may wake up dead like Deron Jacobs did. Give Rachel Edwardson the biggest hee haw. That is a shame. Yeah. I can't remember if his name Dean or Deron. Either way, he's dead. Because oh, he tweeted out a woman crush Wednesday. Mm -mm. All right. Nobody going to correct me on saying uh, wake up dead. See, I was just testing y'all to see if y'all was focused. That's all. You can't wake up dead. You can wake up like this a lot of different ways, but you ain't you waking wake up, up dead. dead. Nah, no. you ain't waking up dead. You can't wake up dead. All right. Well, thank you for that dog. Give me shot, man. And shout out to Nicole Bitchy, who said the best way to get a guy that you never met before is do a man crush Monday and post his picture. Not if you got a boyfriend. Attention. <laughs> if you got a boyfriend <laughs> and you post a man crush Monday, you'll get stabbed in your sleep. It'll, it'll kill you. All right. Well, Ask Yee is up next. If you got some questions for Yee, 800 585 1051. Maybe you're having a bad day. Maybe you just need some advice, relationship advice, or any type of advice. Call Yee right now, 800 585 1051. We'll put you on the air and she'll solve your problems. It's that simple. Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Language. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club, and it's time for Ask Yee. Hello, who's this? This is Larry. Hey, what's your problem? You got a problem or you want to just highlight you? Yeah. No, I'm a bit irritated. I love my mother to death. She's an absolute sweetheart and she loves my kids. However, she won't play her position as a grandparent. She won't allow my husband and I to be parents. For example, the other day, we went to Walmart and I bought my kids a banana. And she flipped out because the banana was no organic. Like she said, <laughs> you know, look at you. You don't care about your kids. You give them up a banana that contains all this pesticide antibiotics and she just won't play the position I spoke but, to her we got in an argument and I don't want to keep her from my kids but she's disrespecting us is she around you guys a whole lot she just pops up well that's one thing you gotta tell your mom don't be just popping up <laughs> yeah I know her you know so Obviously, I don't take yeah. offense to her stuff but my husband like he just thinks his job's got him but well, really she's just a person well have it's you have you said anything to your mom about this and tell her it's affecting yeah we've argued I've threatened her like listen if you can't come to the house anymore but she like just got to say alright fine I'll stay out of your life Don't have, you don't have to worry about me being your life ever again like she's systematic right and she doesn't mean any harm she's actually really just trying to no. help yeah but everybody's not on that organic stuff I'm not I'm 28 I'm still alive <laughs> that doesn't mean that's no, you're right. And you know. how, how many kids do you have? I have twin girls. You know, it's great that your mom is very involved and she wants to help out with the kids. And I'm sure you could use the help. But at the same time, if it's affecting your relationship, you got to figure out a way to keep her in check. Maybe this is all still kind of new for her because your twins are only one. Yeah. So she might be just overdoing it right now. You know what I'm saying? And just trying to make sure you're good and trying to help out and thinking she knows everything because she raised you so well, right? But, I mean, it's one thing to give advice, but it's another thing to say that I'm not a good parent because I don't put socks on my kids when they're in the house or because I don't have them sleeping on set to most. I think the best you know. thing is to try to avoid arguing with your mother. They always say when you discuss with people, you should you should not use the words always or never. You know, you should tell your mom, look, you did such a great job raising me that that's why I'm doing such a great job raising my children. You know, I take everything that you say into consideration, but please let me raise my kids the way that I need to. I have my husband. We're together. It's a bit of a strain in our relationship, but I promise you, if I need anything, I'm definitely coming to you first. Okay. Just be real positive about it and try not to be negative and try not to be argu argumentative with her. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. It's a, it's a difficult situation. You know, when, when you're in that situation, especially with your parents, sometimes you just got to let your parents be. They, the way they handle this situation. Like, every time my dad comes to my house, he closes the blinds. There's nobody <laughs> that can see his ass anyway but a bear or a deer, but he just closes. That's just him. But a just bear or a deer? Yeah, that's the only thing that's around is some bears and deers. That's it. That's all that's going to see him. Must be nice. Anyway. If you want to ask you a question, you can always call 800-585-1051, or you can always email us, breakfastclubam at gmail.com. You got to email you? Yes, I do. Now, this woman, and you might think this is a little silly, but I said there's never any silly questions. She said, hey, Angela, I really need your help. I'm dealing with a guy I've been seeing since 2008. We've never been in a committed relationship, but he always tells me that he better not cast me with nobody or I better not be dealing with anybody. Mind you, he's been in and out of jail. Now he's home. I don't know where he lives. I don't know if he's dealing with anybody else. He runs the street. He barely spends time with me. But when we do get together, I'm at peace. I love this man so much. He might be going back to jail. That's why he says he can't commit himself to me because he doesn't know if he's going to jail. I think that he loves me. I don't know anymore. I'm in love with someone who I think doesn't love me back. Should I let this go? 800-585-1051. What should she do? Call us up right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 
the guy we are, the Breakfast Club. Now, we're in the middle of Ask Ye. Now, yeah, you got a great email that somebody just uh, hit you with, right? Yeah, and I feel really bad for this young lady now. She said, Angela, I really need your help. I'm dealing with a guy I've been seeing since 08. We've never been in a committed relationship. He always tells me he better not catch me with nobody. But she said he's been in and out of jail. She doesn't know where he lives, if he's dealing with anybody else. He barely spends time with her, but when they do get together, she's at peace. She said, I love this man so much. But he's saying he can't commit himself to me because he doesn't know if he's going to jail. She wants to know what should she do. She feels like she's in love with someone who doesn't love her back. Should she let him go? I feel like that's a great excuse to never have to commit. Wait, well, hold on. Well, I'm going to have to go to jail. When we come back. 800 What should she do? Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Here's Beyonce, Jay-Z. It's Drunk in Love. Drunk in Love. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We're in the middle of Ask Ye. Now, if you need relationship advice or any type of advice, you can always call us, 800-585-1051. And if you can't get through to the phone lines, you can email us, breakfastclubam at gmail.com. And no question is stupid. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, some questions are stupid, but no, you know. No, no, no. You can the, ask whatever you want. The stupidest thing is when you don't ask the question. They remain dumb. Well, you got a good email, right, Ye? Yes, this woman said that she has been dating a guy since 2008, never been committed, but he tells her he better not catch her with nobody. He's been in and out of jail. She doesn't know where he lives, if he's dealing with anybody else. She said that the reason why he won't commit himself to her is because he doesn't know if he's going to jail. She said, I think he loves me. I don't know anymore. I'm in love with someone who I think doesn't love me back. Should I let this go? I love that excuse. I mean, that that is a great reason to be like on parole or probation or be facing trial. To never have to commit to a woman. Because you don't know if you're going to go to jail? Right. Well, that's, that's, what you, that's what you think about, huh? Yes, that's a good one. Well, let's go to the phone lines. 800-585-1051. We got Veronica on the line. Now, Veronica, what should she do? That girl should leave him alone. First of all, if he's in and out of jail, that means he come out for vacation. Right. That means outside world is a vacation. Jail is home. That means she can't go stay with him at home. That means she needs to leave him alone. I Been there, done that. That's, that's, that's the 1980s and 90s. She needs to leave that alone. I, yeah, so you dealt with that before. You know what it is. I know what it is. I mean, I had my work schedule around visits. Yes, I had my work schedule fixed around my boyfriend's visit. And then he came home and you didn't even stay with him. Exactly. He came home, didn't even stay together at wow. home. Waste of time. All. Thank you, Mama. Hello, who's this? Yeah, this is Dirty Rice in H Town, man. I just want to comment on what they said about old girl with the, the dude going to prison. Go ahead, bro. Man, I just want to say, man, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs love, even people in the prison. But if she got some trust issues, what she needs to do is basically move around, man, and keep her future nice and positive. You know what I'm saying? She could still write old boy, but she needs to be out there with somebody free that can handle that. And hey. FYI, if you've been dating somebody since 2008 and you still don't know where he lives, and I FYI, mean, come on. And FYI, you must have never seen Oz or Orange is the New Black, but it's plenty of love in prison. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to get plenty of love in prison, man. Eat it or not. There you go. All right. Thank you, man. <laughs> Hello. Who's this? Hey, this is David from Detroit. David, what should he do? What should she do? Excuse me, David. Um, No problem. Uh, Well, no, I want to say first, shout out to the child to y'all from Detroit. I, Angela, yeah, I love you to death. Love Andy, you, doing your thing. Charlamagne, you funny. Charlamagne, you funny. I don't know what. But, um, what. anywho. Yes, anywho, I what should she do? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand that um, she's, like, kind of into something with this guy. But, see, I kind of, I have a guy that's going through a similar relationship. And, see, when you come to, like, terms with the fact that you can't really help somebody's situation and you can't really do too much about uh, a dude who is just kind of in out of jail running the street, you don't have to kind of learn to play your position as a woman, but not like as a person in a relationship, but as a woman, like kind of just separate, separate yourself from that. I don't know this young lady, but I'm sure she's like way more valuable as a person and just kind of a better upstanding type of person than to deal with somebody who kind of is inconsistent and won't commit yourself to her because... Right, I mean, you can't, I'm sorry, but you can't be with no man that you say you barely see him and right. he won't commit to he you. He don't even know what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, he kind of, you in and out of jail. You ain't paying this girl no attention, but you want some secure B word when you get out. And that's just not cool. I don't like doing women like that. I don't do, I would never do my girl like that. That's disrespectful and I just like my woman too much to do them wrong like that. That's but that's that. why you are a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Angela, I love you. Thank you. I have a good day. You too now. So, Yee, what should she do, Yee? I mean, duh, she asked, you know, should she leave him? Absolutely. I don't even know this man, but if you've been dealing with somebody for six years, you're not committed, and he says that he won't commit himself to you because he doesn't know if he's going to jail, you don't know where he lives, and he barely spends time with you, what more does this man need to do, okay? He's not with you. He's not spending no time with you. You don't know nothing about him. 
that's not your man and it's never going to be your man and you don't even want him to be your man. Why are you even putting yourself in this position? Okay. Clearly she has some self-esteem issues. Now we got rumors up next. Yes, and we are going to talk about relationships. You know, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so I'll tell you who's engaged, who recently had babies, and whose ex-wife is writing a book about them. Oh, wow. All right, we'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Rumors on the way. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, let's get into the rumors. It's all about female MCs. Listen up. This just in. All the guys. Guys. The Rumor Report. Guys. Guys. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Nicki Minaj just put out her new video, Lokin' Ass N Word. I don't know if you had a chance to see it. Tough mm-hmm. tune, tough so, tune, like tough it. video. And this song is actually going to be on the Young Money compilation Rise of an Empire album that comes out March 11th and on her forthcoming studio album, The Pink Prince. Didn't they just drop a compilation album? A Rich Gang album? Uh, mm. Yes, that came out. See, nobody remembers because it No, I didn't remember because that had mm. the song that I like on it, um, Million Dollar. Mm hmm. How long ago was that, though? That was a while ago. Anyway, this is a Young Money compilation. It's different than the Rich Gang album. Hey, I'm not mad at it. Find something for little twists in them to do. I'll stop it. All right, now, meanwhile, little Kim is pregnant. All right, she was at the Blondes New York Fashion Week show, and she had a big old baby bump. So she is with her long-term boyfriend, Mr. Papers, who's also a rapper, by the way. I assume. Envy said you knew that already, though. Yeah, I knew she was pregnant a, a month ago. And oh. you knew it was by Mr. Papers? That's what they say. I, I mean, I wasn't there, but that's what they're saying. I hope you weren't there. Well, I'm glad you minded your business, Envy. <laughs> Congratulations to Lil' Kim. I hope she has a healthy pregnancy. Absolutely. And Remy Ma is coming home in July. Yeah, that's now, my favorite female rapper. Papoose went ahead and uh, and announced they locked my bitch up for six years, but guess what? July, she coming home. So that means Boosie's coming home. And when's he coming home? In March? Yeah, they pushed it back. Yeah, they pushed Boosie back to March. Oh, Remy's my favorite. Uh, Remy. I thought uh, Nikki, Nikki. I thought you was a barb. Remy, Nikki, and MC Light are my favorite female rappers ever. Yeah, Nikki. Nikki just released a record. Boy, she getting busy. We was just I, talking that about that. Stupid. Where, where, where were you? you no, it's it another record. But go ahead. All right, Michael Jordan's well, that's wife. That's not that record. I'm going to play that record to make sure I heard. No, go ahead. Michael Jordan's wife nope. has uh, welcomed twins into this world. So congratulations to Michael Jordan. Nice. Congratulations to Michael Jordan's wife. And his wife, <laughs> Yvonne got Jordan. She's 35 years old. Got him. Both of them. You got now, him. Now, Tyrese and his baby mom are having some issues. They got into it over their child. Apparently, Norma Gibson, that's his ex, it, they have a six-year-old daughter together. He was supposed to go and pick her up. And she's saying that the daughter was sick, so she called the LAPD just to let them know and so they could look over her custody documents. Tyree showed up and had to leave without his daughter, so now he's going to go to court to ask a judge to hold his ex, Norma, in contempt and throw her in jail for violating the custody order because he feels that his daughter was not sick. It was all just for revenge. Mm. All right, that is your rumor report. I am Angela Yee. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Up next is the People's Choice. Make sure you want to hear something. 800-585-1051. What is this Nicki Minaj song you speak of? I'm going to play it in the mix. Keep it locked. What's it called? I'm going to play it in the mix. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Love. Good morning. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. That's pretty funny. We're Charlemagne the Devil. Possibly. <laughs> Club. Yeah, it's donkey of the day for Thursday, February 13th, Valentine's Day Eve. Goes to 24-year-old Rachel Edwardson. Now, Rachel is in jail right now. Would you like to know why? Why? Because her boyfriend, Dean Jacobs, is dead. The reason he's dead is because Rachel killed him. Rachel stabbed him to death while he was asleep. My close friends of the couple said there was no violence between the two, just regular arguments that most couples experience. But Rachel flipped on Dean and stabbed him to death in his sleep. Who wants to know why? Who wants to know why? Why? You want to know why? Why? Because Dean allegedly tweeted his woman crush Wednesday on Twitter. WCW. Yes. Well, Deron is his name. Deron's best friend made a public statement. It goes, and I quote, I was texting my boy Deron when he sent me the I message of the girl he was going to tweet out his woman crush. It was a chick he DM'd frequently and got nudes from, but she didn't even live in our state. I can't understand why his girl would kill him over posting a photo on Twitter. End quote. Rachel killed him over a crush, a woman he's never met or doesn't know. A crush. Imagine what she would have done if he would have liked the pick or actually took an Instagram picture with somebody. Now, when police arrived on the scene, 
Jacobs was already dead in their bed and laying in a pool of blood with his iPhone still in his hand. Old Rachel was found by the police in the bathtub, face down with her hands behind her back, waiting for police to arrest her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is yet another reason for me not to go to Chicago because them little chief keeps our damn brains operate different than the rest of us. Now, friends of Rachel said she had self-esteem issues because she is dark-skinned. Say it, Envy. I'm not saying it. Envy, you to get killed? Because she is dark-skinned and slightly overweight and that her boyfriend, Dean Jacobs, had a post on his Twitter bio and Facebook status which read, I love a badass red bone. Whoa. Well, if you like a badass red bone, you should have been with one. What you doing getting murdered by Precious? Look, the moral of the story is, if you are in a relationship and both of y'all are on social media, you must block your significant other. I have a dummy page set up for your girl and an alter ego page for when you want to do your dirt. If not, you too may wake up dead like Deron Jacobs did. Give Rachel Edwardson the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That is a shame. Yeah. I can't remember if his name Dean or Deron. Either way, he's dead because oh, he tweeted out a woman crush Wednesday. Mm -mm. All right. Nobody going to correct me on saying uh, wake up dead. See, I was just testing y'all to see if y'all was focused. That's all. You can't wake up dead. You can wake up like this a lot of different ways, but you ain't you waking wake up, up dead. dead. Nah, you ain't waking up dead. You can't wake up dead. All right. Well, thank you for that, dog. I woke today, up Charlotte. dead. And shout out to Nicole Bitchy who said the best way to get a guy that you never met before is do a man crush Monday and post his picture. Not if you got a boyfriend. Attention. If you got a boyfriend <laughs> and you post a man crush Monday, you'll get stabbed in your it, sleep. It'll kill you. All right. Now, 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 if a woman posts a man crush Monday picture, it's cute and it's, you know, a best way to get a man, as Nicole bitch, he said. But if a guy does it, then he's like, oh, you're so thirsty. Why are you so thirsty? Yeah, I do be thirsty. Oh, shut up. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you for that donkey today, Charlemagne. When we come back, we got a weather update. It's pretty nasty on the East Coast, and uh, he will fill you in. So keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Here's Own It. Smack Wiles. Hey, it's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne, the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, uh,. The weather outside is horrible, nasty, disgusting. You got some updates, Chief? Uh, yes, I do. At least 4,000 flights have been canceled within and to or out of the United States. Uh, 250 flights will be grounded at a Washington's Reagan National Airport alone. And you know yesterday more than 3,400 flights were canceled, so that means there's a lot of people in the airports. It's only going to get worse. Amtrak said at least six long-distance routes along the East Coast have been canceled since Wednesday. They're going to run some shorter routes. And take some heed from what happened in Atlanta a couple of weeks ago and Charlotte as well. Ice is a big issue. So if you don't have to go anywhere, don't go anywhere. It's going to snow very hard. They're going to be about six inches in a couple of hours in a lot of places like New York, Philly, D.C., Richmond. All of that is going to be snowing very hard these next few hours. Well, the moral of the story is all you hoes going to All-Star got to make other plans. Operation Trapper Baller has been aborted, okay? Okay, and you and your boys going to All-Star hoping to smash some chicks. Y'all got to make other plans as well. It's pretty bad out there. I don't think you're going to make it yet. Oh, yeah, it's just disgusting out there. I I've never seen it like don't that. Don't you, don't you wish bad on Angela Yee. I, I think I'll be fine. Weekend. I'm going to get, uh, host some parties and get some money, so you better hope I make it out there. Listen, those dreams of being on the next season of Basketball Wives for some of you chicks ain't happening this weekend. <laughs> it's okay? a wrap, it's over. But I got a, I got a party Friday night, I got a brunch on Saturday with my boy Steph Floss, and on Sunday I got two events as well, and I'll be down there hosting something with Nick Cannon and Mac Wiles, and meet what? and greet, and, uh, shout out to Darnay, her, Brunch. What, what part of wishful thinking? Yeah. I like your optimistic attitude. Yeah, Jay. what part are you going to be in Brooklyn all weekend? Don't you understand? No, I'm not. Listen, it's not going to be snowing on Friday, tomorrow. And my flight is in the afternoon. I should be fine. All right, Mother Nature. Listen, <laughs> Angelie brought up a good point earlier, though. She said the odds have improved for some girls, okay? A lot of average chicks got a chance now. A lot of you fours and fives that have already made your way to New Orleans, y'all got a chance. Because a lot of the eight and nines ain't flew out till the day. But they can always drive. <laughs> You definitely a four if you drive all the way to All-Star. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're you trying even... to get tickets to the game, I'm sure it'll be much easier no. now, too. If oh, you man. are anywhere, if you're in New York, Connecticut, Philly, if you drive all the way to New Orleans, you are definitely a four. And you are that hole over there. And you are, you're just disgusted. All right, you now, Emmy, HPN305 wants weekend. to know what that Nikki song that you were talking about was. What? I just hit him. It's dirty. I got to clean it. It's called Dirty? Forget it. <laughs> anyway, when we I come ain't back, got no song. I just played it behind the scenes. And, uh, Are you? Do you be listening? Nope. And real quick, uh, what's the man name here in New York? Who? The mayor. 
What's his name? Bloomberg. De Blasio. Oh, he's not Lord the man have mercy. anymore. You don't need to go to All Star. You need to sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> de Blasio. De Blasio. De Blasio. De Blasio. It's a damn shame that the schools in New York City are still open. Absolutely. Okay. Should have closed no all public sense. schools. And then when something happens, right. whose fault is it going to be? Who Absolutely. Who's to blame? And, Come on. and Jersey's in a state of emergency, so all schools will close out. Just as the schools open, don't mean you got to send your kids to school. Very true. Sure. Stay home. Really. I mean, that's a decision. Learn from Atlanta. Okay. Close the schools. Close it up. Lock Absolutely. All right. Now it's Black History Month, so we're going to uh, celebrate a new Black History Month legend when we come back. So keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club Morning. There we go. 7th Street. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are the Black... Oh, we are the Black... <laughs> we are the Breakfast Club. We are the Black Club. <laughs> we are the Black... What, boy? We are the Black what Breakfast you Club. Wow, MV. What, boy? It's Black History Month is what I meant to say. We are the Black Club. <laughs> and, <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> we are the Breakfast Club. It's Black History Month. I think a, a lot of us forget, though. Yes, because there's so many distractions during Black History Month. Like? Today, the weather. Nor'easter. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, the Nor'easter, you know, but then it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. We yeah, yeah I love Valentine's Day. It's All-Star Weekend this the, weekend. Them new Jordans dropping this weekend. I, I'm, it's just too much going on. Tax season. Mm-hmm. Everybody getting W-2s. Hey, got I just finished no handling month. my stuff. Either move Black History to another month or just cancel it all together. That's my motto. So man. what you going to do? We are celebrating it. Uh, but we're celebrating new Black History Month legends and new Black History Month moments. Today we have a new moment. And now the Breakfast Club presents a new Black History Month moment. Seattle Seahawk Richard Sherman scares the hell out of white America on national TV. Well, I'm the best corner of the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who is talking about you? Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. And this has been another new Black History Month moment, courtesy of The Breakfast Club. Richard Sherman scared white Americans so much, they added so many distractions this month. Usually it's just the normal distractions like Valentine's, Super Bowl, all stuff. They gave us a nor'easter, courtesy of Hawk. Shout out to the Seattle Uh. Seahawks, baby. That's my team. (laughs) Hey, shut up. Team. (laughs) Shout out to Seattle, though. Yeah. All right. And well, Mr. Sherman, I actually met him at the uh, Nets game and took a picture. Okay. When we come back, we got the positive the note Seahawks. of the day. You know, name three players on the Seahawks. We just talked about Richard Sherman. Don't do that. Who else? Who did name two more? <laughs> I just watched the game. It don't matter who's who. They have the first beige quarterback to win a Super Bowl, Russell Wilson. We we honored him this month for Black History Month. See, you love the Seattle Seahawks. Too. No, I don't. I, can't. I don't know anybody else on the team. My oh, day. yes, I do. Marshawn Lynch. But I'm a Dallas Cowboy for life. Anyway, positive note of the day when we come back. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. That's right. It's Heartless Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club now. Yes, I just want to... Oh, go ahead. Now what? No, I was going to say time for the positive. No, what? It is, but I just want to salute all the uh, hoes that thought they was going to make it to All-Star this weekend. Got to make other plans. And you men that are hoes, too. I just want to say Operation Trapper Baller has been aborted because of the weather. Mm-hmm. All right. Just want to throw that out there. Absolutely. Well, positive note, bro. Uh, a positive note is, if you want light to come into your life, you need to stand where it is shining. Good luck with that today. Breakfast Club, bitches! Celebrate Black. Yes, that's exactly why I'm heading out to New Orleans tomorrow for All-Star You're Weekend. You're not going to nice New Orleans. Nice. No, damn, 